Hello everyone, welcome to my online music store. In this music store, you can browse different categories of products. There will be instruments, discography, and accessories. And when you browse them, you can register as customer and add those products in your shopping cart. And also, you can check out those products into orders and also you can log in as an administrator to manage those products by adding them, update them or delete them. Okay, so let's take a quick tour of the website. So here we have our navigation bar, which has our home button, the product hot button and about button. And we also have login and register. And after that, below that, we have a carousal effect um, that we can switch back and forth to change the background image of the landing page. And then below that, we have three different icons that correspond to three different categories of music products. So let's go, go ahead and take a look at our music products. So this is the music product list page and we can choose to leave list the entries of products. So right now we have three different products and the category has instrument, record and accessory. So basically I can type in whatever keywords I'm interested to search them. So if I type, type instrument, so only instrument will be showed up also accessories or some numbers and when you click on this information icon we can see the detailed information of the product and also we can come back to the product list page and if you want to become a customer let's go ahead and register so here is the form that we can fill up to become a customer let's just quickly do that And then click the submit button. Okay, so we have a validation check here. It says the email already exists. Let's change our email address. Let's try to submit again. The password must be now. Okay, we have the empty check. Let's put some password on it. There we go, we have customer registered successfully and we can come in the login page. Type in the register name and password. So here, if you type in the wrong credentials, it will not allow you to log in as the customer. So let's try it again. Okay, there we go, we have login. And here we can see it shows welcome user one, which is the username we have just registered. Now that we have logged in, we can view the detailed information of the product and then click on the order button to add it to the cart. So it says product successfully added to the cart. Let's go back and add a different type of product. Okay, so we have three products added. Let's go to cart to take a look at them. So here come to the, our cart page, we have the product listed here and this one we have added two times so the quantity becomes two and this one we have only one so it will show the price of the unit price times the quantity here and also it has a ground total. What we can do is that we can remove cart items by click on this remove uh, button and also we can clear a cart by clicking this button. And also we can check out um, based on the customer information when we register. Here we have our customer name, email, phone, and uh, a billing address. And then we come to our shipping address. Then next, 
Here we have the order confirmation page. We have the product listed and total price listed, and we can submit order. And before that, we can also cancel the checkout. So if we cancel that, it says checkout canceled. So let's go take a look at that. We still have the products here. Let's check it out again. Click on next, next, and then let's submit order. Okay, so your order is submit successfully, and uh, this this result will be recorded in our database. Okay. So besides that, we can log out and then log in as our administrator. So let's go to our administrator page, and you can see here we have the welcome admin, and we don't have the card button showed up because uh, admin is a different different role, and we don't need the card functionality here. So when we come over to administrator page, we can uh, visit the product inventory link and also the customer management link. In product inventory page, we can manage all this uh, different kind of products. We can add products, and uh, it also has data validation check. And we can also delete product or update product. Okay, and when we come to this customer management, we can have the list of all the customers displayed here. Okay, so that's pretty much about our music website. So hopefully you guys will feel excited about developing this website. I'll see you in the first lesson.